Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Let's learn English at the grocery store. Hi, Bob the Canadian here. If this is your first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up at some point during this video if you enjoy it as you continue to learn English. Well, I was thinking the other day, I really haven't taken any of you on a field trip. A field trip is when a teacher takes students somewhere outside of the classroom. Normally, you would learn in a classroom, but sometimes the teacher will take students somewhere and that's called a field trip. So today, I thought we would go on a field trip to the supermarket or what we usually call in English, the grocery store. Let me get my keys. So in English, we generally use the term grocery store. We don't often use the term supermarket. I know supermarket is quite common in other languages. In French, we say supermarché, uh, but in English, we don't often say supermarket. It is an English word, um, but we usually say grocery store. Uh, and you could say, for instance, I have to stop at the grocery store. You could say, I need to pick up some groceries. Uh, you could say, I need to go to the grocery store. Uh, and you could also say, uh, I need to go grocery shopping. So that's pretty common. I need to get some food, so I'm going to go grocery shopping. Uh, so let's head over there. Well, we made it. I'm at my local grocery store and I thought I would take you guys inside and we'll look at each section of the grocery store and I'll kind of tell you what the name of the section is uh, and some of the items that you can buy there so let's go on inside one of the first things we're going to need is a shopping cart otherwise known as a grocery cart let's grab one from right here now we're ready the very first section of the grocery store that you'll see uh, especially in a Canadian grocery store is the produce section so the produce section is the section where you'll find fruits the kinds of things that grow on trees like apples oranges uh, bananas by the way if you are from a country that produces bananas just a big thank you for me I love bananas I eat one every day uh, but yeah you can see the sign up here we're in the produce section uh, so you're gonna find a lot of fruit you're also gonna find a lot of vegetables. You're gonna find things like carrots and cucumbers uh, and broccoli and those kinds of things. So first section you usually see, the produce section, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. Let's move on to the deli section. The next section you'll usually find in a Canadian grocery store is the deli section. And the deli section is where you find what we call luncheon meat or deli meat or sliced meat. And this is the kind of meat that you buy pre-sliced so that you can put them on sandwiches or buns or subs, sub sandwiches. So the deli section is things like ham, things like bologna, uh, and things like uh, oven roasted chicken or oven roasted turkey. So that's the deli section. The next section you'll usually find in the grocery store is the bakery section. Uh, the bakery section has things like loaves of bread. Uh, the bakery section would have fresh baked buns fresh baked bread, things like French bread, uh, as well as um, yummier things to eat like cakes, uh, maybe muffins, and maybe croissants. Another section you'll find in the grocery store is the dairy section. The dairy section has all things that would come from cow milk, goat's milk, or sheep milk. So here you'll find things like milk, you'll find things like butter, and you'll find things like cheese. Another section of the grocery store is the frozen food section. In the frozen food section, you'll find things like frozen pizzas, uh, you'll find ice cream, you'll find frozen fruits and frozen vegetables. So all the parts of the grocery store that we have visited are on the outside walls of the grocery store. Uh, those sections are on the perimeter, the outside walls of the store, but in the inside of the store, are aisles like this. And these are aisles of things like cookies, things like bottled juice, things like canned goods. And there's usually these really nice signs above each aisle, you can see them here, that help you know what's in each aisle. 
Well, hey, that was a quick tour of the grocery store. I hope this video was helpful for you as you continue to learn English. Don't forget to like this video. Uh, and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.